Hello everyone, welcome back to Sydney and Starlet, and if you are new here, right, go. welcome, enjoy the there we go. videos. So today me and Sydney are going to be reading Disney's Cinderella 3, The Twist in Time. So let's begin. Cinderella couldn't be happier. Her dreams had finally come true. With the help of her fairy godmother and her special mice friends, Cinderella had made it to the ball where she had met the prince. It was love at first sight. The couple soon married, and Cinderella became a princess. Cinderella went to live in the palace, leaving behind her wicked stepmother and two cruel stepsisters, Anastasia and Drizella. All three of them had treated Cinderella like a servant. Now the sisters were angry and jealous of Cinderella because they had to do their own chores. Secretly, Anastasia yearned for a happy ending of her own. One day, she spotted Cinderella and the prince walking towards the woods. Anastasia followed them to a clearing where Cinderella's friends had planned a surprise anniversary party. Anastasia hid behind a tree and watched. With a swish of her wand, the fairy godmother said, Bippity boppity boo! Instantly, the clothes Cinderella and the prince were wearing transformed into ball costumes they had worn the nights they had fallen in love. Anastasia gasped. So that's how Cinderella did it. Magic! As the mice and the fairy godmother serenaded the beautiful couple, the prince lovingly took Cinderella in his arms. The couple danced in the moonlight. The fairy godmother was having so much fun that she threw her arms up in excitement, sending her wand flying through the air. The wand landed right in front of Anastasia. Perfect! cried Anastasia. She snatched the wand and ran. Anastasia hurried home to her mother and sister. Just then, the fairy godmother appeared. Child, put that down, the fairy godmother scolded Anastasia. In the wrong hands, that wand could be extremely dangerous. Anastasia refused. She turned to the fairy godmother into a, a stone garden gnome. The wicked stepmother's eyes grew wide when she saw the power of the wand. Do you realize what this means, girls? It means power, riches, revenge, she said. Then the stepmother pointed the wand towards the sky. Reverse the moon and sun. Turn back tide and time. Unravel Cinderella's happily ever after to the moment my troubles began. Suddenly, time turned back to the exact moment that the Grand Duke arrived at the manor with a single glass slipper. D the lucky girl whose foot fit in the slipper would marry the prince. Just before Anastasia tried on the glass slipper, her mother used the magic wand to stretch the shoe to fit on her daughter's big foot. The Grand Duke was stunned. It fits? It fits! cried Anastasia. I hereby declare that we have found the princess, oh, the prince's bride-to-be, announced the duke. We must return to the palace at once. Just then, Cinderella appeared at the top of the stairs, holding the matching glass slipper. No, it can't be, she said, looking very upset. The stepmother confronted Cinderella. Whatever you think happened last night was a dream the wicked woman said icily. Then she took Cinderella's glass slipper and dropped it over the staircase, shattering the shoe. Cinderella's mice friends, Jack and Gus, did their best to cheer her up. If only Cinderella could see the prince again, everything would be set right. The three friends hurried to the palace. Getting into the palace wouldn't be easy. However, Cinderella pretended to be a servant, delivering a wheel of cheese to the king. Gus and Jack hid in her pocket. Once inside, the friends split up and went to look for the prince. The mice found the prince first, but they were too late. They watched as Cinderella's stepmother used the magic wand to cast a spell on the prince. Suddenly, the prince thought Anastasia was his true love. The prince asked Anastasia to marry him. We have to find Cinderella, Jack exclaimed to Gus. Cinderella found the prince a little while later. 
Sadly, he didn't remember her at all. He spoke only of Anastasia. He plans to marry her that very night. Cinderella was devastated. She didn't know what to do. Luckily, the mice knew the truth. Once they found Cinderella, they explained what they had seen. Stunned, Cinderella uttered, She made him forget who I am! More determined than ever, Cinderella declared, Boys, we have to get that wand! Meanwhile, the king took Anastasia aside. He handed her a small box with a simple seashell inside. This shell was the queen's most treasured possession. The king explained, The day we met, you see, we reached for it at the same moment. When our hands touched, that's when I knew and found true love. You knew that just by touching her hand? asked Anastasia. There's no more powerful force in the world than true love, the king told her. Back inside the palace, Cinderella watched her stepmother and stepsisters through a keyhole as the stepmother locked the wand in a drawer. Jack and Gus offered to retrieve it. Cinderella agreed, but wanted them to stay clear of Lucifer, the cat. Jack and Gus did their best to snatch back the wand. Once they got hold of it, the two mice ran as fast as their little legs could carry them. With a loud meow, Lucifer lunged at the mice. The stepmother spun around. The wand, she cried. But the mice scurried out the door, still carrying the wand. The stepmother called Cinderella a thief and ordered the guards to arrest her. Cinderella and the mice ran through the palace looking for the prince. When she found him, Cinderella tried to lift the spell, but the stepmother grabbed the wand. Cinderella made a desperate plea to the prince. You're under a spell, she cried. That's why you don't remember me. Cinderella reached out to touch the prince. He felt there was something familiar about her. Poor child, obviously out of her mind, the stepmother said. Once the prince lift, left, however, the stepmother turned to the head guard and ordered, Put her on the next ship leaving the kingdom. I want her banished forever. It was now up to Cinderella's friends to save the day. Jack and Gus found the mice, oh, found the prince and told him the truth. The mice even showed the handsome prince the glass slipper that the bluebirds had meticulously glued back together when the prince heard his true love was on a ship that was set to sail he raced out the door and towards the harbor the prince arrived at the ship just in time as soon as he touched cinderella's hand the spell that he was under was broken the prince suddenly remembered everything about cinderella the prince asked for her hand in marriage and Cinderella joyfully accepted. Together at last, Cinderella and the prince turn, returned to the palace. Inside, however, the stepmother was furious. He thinks he can ruin my plans, she hissed. I think not. As the guards broke through the locked door to arrest the wicked woman and her daughters, the stepmother waved the magic wand in a brilliant burst of light she and her daughters vanished. As Cinderella prepared that evening for her wedding, her evil stepmother emerged. It appears you were right, Cinderella, the stepmother said coolly. The prince does, does want to marry you, and marry you he shall. Then she called out for Anastasia. Her daughter stepped out of the shadows, looking exactly like Cinderella. With a flourish, the stepmother waved the magic wand, and the real Cinderella and the mice disappeared. They reappeared, trapped inside an evil pumpkin coach. The sinister coachman was none other than Lucifer the cat. He had strict orders. Get rid of Cinderella once and for all. Lucifer cracked the whip over to the horse's head and the coach hurtled through the night faster than a shooting star. Cinderella and her friends feared for their lives. 
Cinderella needed to do something, and quick. Desperately, she yanked on a vine that Lucifer was sitting on. That sent the cat flying head over paws from the coach into a muddy stream. Gus and Jack pulled out the pin that connected the horse's harness to the coach. Finally, all of the friends were on the horse, safe and sound. Cinderella grabbed the reins and pulled the beast to a stop, just in time. The pumpkin coach plummeted over the cliff's edge. Determined to not miss her own wedding, Cinderella dashed towards the palace. Do you, Cinderella, take this man as your lawfully wedded husband? The bar shop asked Anastasia. Anastasia hesitated. She wanted to be loved for who she was, not for who she was pretending to be. I... I... Don't, she said finally. At that moment, the real Cinderella arrived and ran down the aisle. All the guests gasped in surprise. With Drizella at her side, the stepmother stormed out of her hiding place. Spoiled little ingrate, she growled at Anastasia. The stepmother aimed the magic wand at Anastasia and Cinderella and called out, Bippity boppity boo! No, yelled the prince, leaping to protect the young woman. He drew his sword and deflected the wand's magic power. The magic light from the wand turns the evil stepmother and Drizella into toads. Anastasia took the wand and transformed back to her true self. Cinderella thanked her stepsister for acting so honorably and not marrying the prince. Finally, it was time to return the wand to its rightful owner. Anastasia and Cinderella said the magic words, and with a bippity bobbity boo the fairy godmother's statue came to life. Her first er order of business was to restore Cinderella's wedding dress. Does anyone want to marry my da- oh. <laughs> Does anyone want to marry my son? The king asked. Cinderella smiled radiantly. I do. And now I pronounce, pronounce you husband and wife, said the bar shop. As Cinderella and the prince kissed, everyone erupted into applause. Then the couple lived happily ever after. Again. The is the end. So that is it for today, everyone. We really hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Pick out your favorite page. Who's your favorite character? Wog. The frog. Wow. Okay. Bye bye.